the richest place on earth, guess what? It's the cemetery. Mm? Yeah, it's the cemetery. And we see it. I, I want you to think about it for a moment. The cemetery. <laughs> ah, the cemetery. Baby, is here, Nipa. It is the richest place on this earth. You won't understand why I'm saying this. But I'm telling you, you don't know how many wealthy people have been buried in the cemetery. You don't know how many ideas have been buried in the cemetery. You don't know how many great leaders have been buried in the cemetery. You don't know how many people have died with the, the best of ideas that could have made one nation, one person, the wealthiest on this earth. The cemetery is the richest place on this earth. And this morning, I'm talking to you about dying empty. You may not have thought about it, but in this voice of wisdom, I want you to understand that if there is any place rich, than cemetery i'm sorry there is none it is second to none i want you to think about it for a moment yes i must say yes i must say yes do you know how many beautiful women have died and have been buried at the cemetery? Do you know how many talents have been buried at the cemetery? I want you to think about it for a moment. Hmm. You see, some people are shocked with the answer I have given that the cemetery is the, the richest place on earth. I was thinking about some few instances yesterday night as I was going to bed. I was thinking why Africa has not been able to, to make it on top of the world economy. Just like somebody says, Africa is the richest continent. I was also thinking about it. If indeed Africa is the richest continent, then where, where is the wealth that Africa must command? Where has it gone to? And then I cast my mind back and realized that the founding fathers, many of those who actually liberated the African countries, one more, a fighting for independence for many African countries, including our own Nkrumah and the other five, making it the big six. They have all died. They didn't just die. They died with great ideas. They died with purposes. They died with ideas that could have alleviated Africa from our abject poverty and penury. You know, these are great men who had Africa in focus. They were really visionary leaders. But where can we find them? They are in the cemetery. Now, as I kept thinking about this thing, it dawned on me that I should speak to the living. Listen, the last place where you're going to be is the cemetery. The last place, the I know many of you have potentials within you. I know many of you have a lot of ideas. Many of you are visionary. So many fantastic plans are in the minds of our youth. But guess what? If you take about 10 people, only 2 out of 10 are able to bring out the ideas, sell their ideas to the world. Because of selfishness, because of greed, because of pride, because of envy, many people never get to tell the best ideas that they've got in them and they die. Now, I want you to think about this. Assuming all the great men of Africa who have already passed on, Emperor Hillis Selassie, 
Dr. Osajifu Kwame Nkrumah and the early African patriots who have died. Patrice Lumumba of Kenya, not, not the, 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 the professor who is giving speech, he was named after that um, legend, African legend. Supposing all of them were alive, what picture of Africa do you think we would have today? 